Good evening. Healthcare workers in the region have told ITV News they're fearing for their safety at work following a shocking rise in attacks on them. One hospital trust says incidents have jumped almost 50% in a year. Many say they're busier than before the pandemic, leading to longer waiting times for patients, some of whom are resorting to verbal and even physical abuse against those trying to help them. Richard Payne reports. A man is in hospital with serious injuries after suffering stab wounds at a social club near Trowbridge. He was flown to Southmead Hospital last night after a mass disorder involving around 50 people. Well, our reporter Karen Bell... First, though, 13 women have been making art by working and some even staying overnight in the old Shepton Mallet prison. Yes, each artist has occupied a cell in the Victorian Sea Wing to create works inspired by themes of isolation, women's rights and society's attitudes towards prisoners. Charlotte Gay went to find out more. That's amazing, isn't it? Do you think you could stay the night in the prison? In the prison. Well, I have heard that it's haunted, so okay. maybe not, but it obviously inspired those guys, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's all in the name great of art. works of art. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to see for yourself, you can visit Shepton Mallet to see the artwork until this Sunday. Oh, yeah, another incredible story. So, such one in a million. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. It's so hard, isn't it, the Pride of Britain, how people are going to decide. I worked on Pride of Britain for the last two years and it's just you get so involved with all the stories. Yeah, I am very glad that I'm not having to choose between them though. But we have yes. heard from all four of our finalists and on tomorrow's show we will reveal who is our Pride of Britain Regional Fundraiser of the Year. Now, next tonight, the Western Beach Race returns to the North Somerset Seaside Resort this weekend, the first since 2019 due to COVID restrictions. The motorcycling event transforms the beach into a six-mile race course featuring huge sand dune obstacles, and it's quite a spectacle. So our reporter, Adam Grierson, is live on the beach for us tonight. Uh, so, Adam, work well underway then. Well, we heard the big question there, didn't we? What is the weather yes. going to be like this weekend? All the riders taking part, of course, will want to know. The man with the answers is Charlie, who's at the Met Office for us. Charlie, how's it looking? <laughs> Charlie, thank you very much indeed. Right, before we go, a reminder that, as always, you can find more reaction to stories from across the region online, including Brit. It's a story, as you can imagine, that's dividing opinion. Adrian Pearson says the rubbish will no longer be around the bins. It will spread over a larger area. Well, Jeff Curtis thinks it's a great idea. It's your rubbish. Take it home, very simply put. <laughs> you can also share your thoughts using the details that are on your screen now. Well, that's it from everyone here. I'll have the late news for you at 10.30. Now we'll hand you to Mary Nightingale as the ITV News continues. Whatever you're doing this evening, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye is trying to help them. Richard Payne reports. Somerset Seaside Resort this weekend, the first time since 2019 due to COVID restrictions in the region on our website. We'll be back tomorrow. We do hope to see you then. Bye-bye. On to sport and in rugby, there was late drama in the West Country derby between Bristol and Bath at Ashton Gate tonight. Now, well done, Toby. That's only another 20 kilometres you have to do. So, let's have a look at your weather. Here's Charlie. Charlie, thank you. Well, before we go, there's just time for a look ahead to the latest episode of All Around Britain. Here are Alex and Ria with what to expect this Sunday. And it's a big night for rugby in the West Country as local rivals Bristol and Bath meet for the first time this season. Yeah, both sides have uh, somewhat surprisingly lost both of their opening two games. And so it's a battle for the first win of the campaign. Our sports reporter Carrie Davis live at Ashton Gate for us this evening. Carrie, I'm going to be down there a little later this evening to watch the match because it's a big rivalry, isn't it? In the rugby there this evening. <laughs> Carrie, thank you. <laughs> Um, well, let's take a quick look at our football fixtures this week. Pretty emotional seeing Mer's reaction to that, actually, Everyone's wasn't emotional it? here. John T's all emotional oh. in the gallery. They're all emotional. I bet Katie will keep him to that beer, though. Yeah, and well done, everyone, hiding and keeping quite upstairs for oh, some yeah, fantastic effort. Yeah, congratulations to 